Hello guys! So, sorry if my... I'm a bit like... Bleh. I've been sick for like... On and off for like the past week. And it was like really really bad in the beginning. And then it kind of went away. And then this morning like I woke up and I thought I was dying. Basically, this is a video that... Not that I wanted to avoid. But only because it had caused me issues last time I filmed it. And so trying to like just leave it but it's proved to be quite difficult to not have it because I keep getting asked you know why did you come to Islam you know what led you to Islam and blah 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 and so it'd be a lot easier to like just have somewhere to direct people because like as far as telling someone in person I can like summarize it pretty quickly and be done with it but like typing something is just not and then I feel like it loses some of its like value. If any of you who followed me on my last channel and saw my, you know, what led me to Islam video, it was very long. I think it was like 40 minutes or so. It's I still have it up. It's just on private. It was very much focused on my past and things I've gone through and that sort of thing. And I kind of want to stay away from that stuff. And, um, like I said, I have my reasons, um, but kind of just focus on the why I came to Islam part very specifically, as in like the recent stuff, um, and kind of ignore, you know, the stuff before. Um, the very, very simplified version. Essentially, I was brought up, oh my gosh, okay, it's silent now. I was brought up around Christianity and, um, you know, I, I don't know if I'd say particularly like practicing Christianity, but it's just kind of what was around me from the beginning and I just always assumed that's what it was, you know, like if you're going to practice a religion that would be what it would be. Um, and I never really questioned that, I guess. Um, and so last year. I kind of reached this point where I felt like something was missing and um, kind of like this part of me that just felt kind of empty and I couldn't figure out what it was, like no matter how much I tried to fill it or, you know, whether it be with people, hobbies, um, habits, whatever, um, it just couldn't seem to get filled and I didn't know why. So I started looking back into my faith and I don't know, I'm, I wouldn't say I was really like practicing Christian, I don't think, um, because I never really, um, knew how to put it otherwise, so I just kind of used that without really understanding what it meant. Um, you know, my views had always been I believe in God, a God, one God, and um, I didn't really know much beyond that. Um, I knew there was some source or higher power that had more control than I did, um, only because there were so many things in my life that I couldn't explain otherwise, you know, like how certain things would coincidentally happen so perfectly and meticulously that it would lead to something else that I could then see was beneficial and it just didn't make sense to me because I was like there's no way that some things have happened the way they have without the influence of something else and just life in general like where does everything come from um you know it can't just suddenly miraculously all appear kind of I, I always believed in something anyway um but it just I didn't really look too much into it. So when I would pray, um, I and back then I usually only prayed when things got tough, which is what a lot of people do, um, but I would just pray to whoever was out there, essentially, um, if that makes sense. So I didn't really put a label to it. I just kind of, you know, whoever is listening and wants to help me out, like, <laughs> um, but yeah. So, I started looking back into Christianity um, and like as far as the actual like research of it and trying to understand the concepts behind it and the belief system and let me do like a disclaimer you know I'm not 
trying to bash anyone's religion. I'm not trying to speak against anyone's religion or say anyone's right, anyone's wrong. This is my own experience, how I feel about things. You know, I strongly stand by the verse in the Quran where it says, you know, to me, you're to, <laughs> to use your religion and to me is mine, you know, so before anyone gets offended and, you know, whatever, but just throw that out there. Um, but for me, I just couldn't get it to make sense. And I never understood the Trinity and things just kind of as I researched more and more, things just didn't add up. And I had a lot of questions that no one could answer. And they would kind of just give me, oh, you know, we just have faith. You just have faith. And, like, that's great and all, but there has to be a certain amount for me that gives me something to believe in. You know, like a fact basis kind of thing and something to look at and be like, oh, my goodness, that makes sense. And it, to me, it should have been like that. It shouldn't. I shouldn't have to struggle to understand what I'm believing in. Um you know, and I shouldn't be discouraged from asking questions and from trying to understand why um, I believe what I believe. Um, it should be, I should be allowed that freedom to do my own research and to try and understand. So at that point, I started kind of researching into other religions, but nothing was really doing it for me, I guess. And so then I kind of came to this point of, okay, you know, like, I just know I have my beliefs and I know what I believe in. There's just not a religion that matches it, so I'm just not going to practice anything and I'll just do my own thing. Um, at this point, you know, I didn't look into Islam. I had never looked into Islam. And I don't know why. Um, I think it just seemed very distant and not unwelcome, but I felt like... I didn't feel like just anyone could become like a Muslim. I thought I don't I don't know what I thought. I just thought it seemed it seemed very unattainable if that makes sense. Um so I just didn't really bother. Um until uh someone had made a comment to me about Muslims very offhandedly. This was a Catholic person, so it wasn't, you know, anyone trying to push anything on me. She had just mentioned, oh, you know, the way that they talk about God is really beautiful and the way that they worship God is really beautiful. And so that didn't really catch me at first, I mean, but it stuck with me and I didn't really know why. And I just kept thinking about it kind of every once in a while it would pop up and I was like, okay, you know, maybe I'll just look into Islam just to understand what it's about because I love to research and I love to read up on things just for the heck of it like for <laughs> not any goal out of it just you know if it's interesting or if I want to educate myself because um, I think that it, it is important for us to educate ourselves on things we don't understand as much as possible. We, I started researching and kind of looking at the basic ideas and like fundamentals of Islam and I started watching lectures and um, when I was at work I would read the Quran on my phone and obviously at first it's not doesn't for most people doesn't really hit you as hard because you're not necessarily understanding what it is you're reading and so I started looking more into that into the meaning and then what got me kind of like oh was the scientific um, side of Islam and the scientific miracles that are in the Quran and things that were predicted in the Quran and history and that you know we are still discovering now and I was kind of like okay you know this is something to hold on to um, and the fact that in Islam it's just God Again, sorry that it's like really bright and everything and I'm like really close. Um, basically, um, my camera battery died and then I charged it a bit and then I went to film it again and my camera is having some issue focusing on my face and so... I realized that after filming the whole second part of the video, so then I had to film it again, did the exact same thing, and I was like, right, okay, fine. My battery died again, and then 
Um, and now I'm trying it again, and I have to be like this close to get it to focus. And I'm like using my phone to check and make sure it's focused, and it's just a hassle. Anyway, I was politely told to not make this uh, video like a uni lecture. So I'm going to try and wrap it up as quickly as possible. Um, basically, I left off saying I liked that in Islam that God is one and it is just God on his own. Basically, so we have in Surah Al-Iqlas where it says Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Kuhu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, which is say he is Allah who is one, Allah the eternal refuge. So that idea that, you know, God is just one, there is no intercessor to him and the next bit called uh, so say um, so he is neither begotten nor is he born and to him is there no equivalent so there is no partners in um, you know to God there is no intercessor to God it is just God on his own and, you know, we have that direct link to him. And I feel like that's kind of how I've always felt my relationship was with God. You know, it was a direct link and a direct conversation I was having with him. Um, and I didn't like the idea of there being any barriers between us. Um, you know, you get to have that direct conversation. And so that was something that was really important to me. And also the fact that we can't exactly say, you know, God is this or God is that. You know, the word Allah... You know, illa is um, God in Arabic. Allah is the God, or, you know, a, the God. And um, there's no gender, there is no saying it is this or that, it is just the God. Um, so, you know, we can't say God is this or that, or, you know, whatever, or make any descriptions. Um, of like appearance wise or things like that because we don't know and that's something that was important to me because I've always felt you know how can we say that because we don't know um basically Islam was just the religion that matched you know everything I already felt I had my own belief system and it really was that thing it was just like an aha moment and a lot of converts or reverts describe it as kind of like you go your whole life thinking your vision is perfect never knowing you need glasses you finally get your eyes checked and you know you put your glasses on and it's like this whole world of clarity that you never knew existed and you could have gone your whole life not knowing it existed but like once you have it it's like wow like it really is um kind of like a, well yeah it is a life-changing moment and um, it's really beautiful. I'm not going to say that it was the easiest thing on earth. There is a lot of hardships that come with um, reverting to Islam. You know, um, I won't get too much into that. But it's tough. It's really tough. And we face a lot of challenges and a lot of things that, you know, many board Muslims can't exactly relate to. Um, so I think it is important to have, you know, one or two convert or revert friends if you can find them if you need one I'll be yours um to kind of you know talk about those things with because it's nice to know there are other people that kind of understand where you're where you're at and um what you're going through with certain things um but yeah you know it's if you asked me a couple years ago or even a couple months ago if I ever thought I would have converted to Islam you know I would have probably just laughed and like walked away but it really is the case of Allah guides who he wills and who wills to be guided um you know and it's it's not what I would have expected for myself but I wouldn't have it any different and I wouldn't wish for any different faith or I would not I would never go back you know like, this is something that truly is the best thing you can be given in this life. And, um, yeah, but inshallah, um, you know, Allah guides all the people that he wills. And um, more and more people will get to experience the beauty of Islam. I think as well, um, you know, Islam really was something that I felt connected with my character and who I 
am and who I was. You know, at the time of me finding Islam, I wasn't being that person. I wasn't being <clears throat> who I knew myself to be, which is, you know, an honest, loving, truthful, good, generous person. I was being someone that was manipulated by this dunya, you know. I was wasn't being who I thought I was and I couldn't figure out where I was going wrong and you know why I was being so opposite of who I thought I was and then I started thinking well you know maybe I am this person maybe I'm not as good as I thought I was and I think it really was kind of that realization for me that no you're all of these things in life and I think of it as like, right, okay, so, you know, think of your life as this tree, and the trunk of the tree needs to be something that's sturdy, and needs to be something that's stable, and then all the branches are all the other things you do in your life, you know, friends, family, work, whatever, hobbies, but if you put one of those in as your trunk, those things are temporary and those things come and go and those things change over time and if you have something unsteady like that as your trunk you know it's not going to be stable and or if you put too much attention on your branches it's going to fall and go back and forth whereas I didn't realize what I needed was that relationship with God and what I needed was that stability that enabled me to you know actively engage in my life in a way that had balance. Um, I was just jumping from one thing to the next, not what, or not being able to figure out why, like, I couldn't find that, like, fulfillment I was looking for. And it was because all the things I was looking for that for were temporary. They were all, you know, things that would come and go and then I wouldn't know where to turn next. And so I think that was a big thing for me. And, um, but, you know, what Islam teaches and how it teaches about love and respecting one another and caring for one another and giving and no one should have too much and no one should have too little. You know, everyone needs to help take care of each other. And it's like this big family. And it's really like that was so beautiful to me, that, that sense of community and really people coming together and loving each other for the sake of something greater. Um and so I think that was really important to me as well. And I, I truly got that connection when, you know, looking into Islam and people that were helping me and, you know, offering me information and just, you know, I've never seen any one religion so happy to have people convert to it. You know, like the day that I converted, the women in the mosque, like I had met them that day. And when I said my shahada, of course, I was, like, shaking, and, like, I was saying everything wrong, and I was really nervous, and I looked up after, and all these women that I just met, you know, were just here crying, and, like, truly were moved by this, and were, like, you know, that's such a beautiful thing that at such a young age you would find Islam, so, yeah, it, it's Islam, guys. So, the last thing I wanted to touch on really quick is a question that I get all the time, and that is if I had any Muslim friends, or, like, I met a Muslim guy, and that's why I converted. The quick, simple answer to that is no, I didn't. Um, I did all my research on my own. I didn't know, like, any Muslims prior to converting. I mean, obviously, I'm sure I did know some, I just wasn't aware that they were Muslim. The first Muslim man I met was the day that I said my shahada, and that was the imam at the mosque. So, <laughs> if that makes it clear, um, yeah. Basically, I just kind of walked in and was like, yep, I'm ready to do the thing. <laughs> and that was that, um, you know, and then I um, carried on with everything. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, it was my own research that led me to Islam, and um, I think that is really important because it is through that that you get a proper understanding of what it really is, as opposed to someone teaching you or, you know, not trying to understand Islam from, you know, those that you may know that are Muslim, you know, you don't know how practicing or not practicing they are, or to what degree, so you never really know the whole range of everything unless you do your own research.